Today, I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways to sell your assets on Binance, either BTC, USDT, Ethereum, TRS, or any other assets on Binance. If you've been searching for ways to sell your assets on Binance or get your assets to your mobile money, this is the right video for you. What you have to do is to simply watch the video to an end in order to get better understanding. My name is Brian and that is what I usually do on my channel. Kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified whenever I drop a content on my channel. If you really enjoy my video, just give me a thumbs up for me to know that you really enjoyed my video. Without wasting much of your time, let's get back to the video. Yeah, so this is pretty simple. You can see I'm having $449 over here. I'm going to sell this for you to know how to do it. Just go to wallet and you can see it's funding wallet and sports wallet over here. If you have your funds in the sports wallet, kindly transfer them into the founding wallet. Right, I'm having my assets in the founding wallet. So I will go straight to um, P2P. P2P is simply peer-to-peer, -peer, right? So simply tap on peer-to-peer and you can see buy and sell over here we are not here to buy we are here to sell simply tap on the sell button and what you have to do is to check the price over here and the limits by the money that you're having or the assets you're having so the first one is 12.3 that is um one dollar is equal to 12.3 ghana cities which with this particular ad the limit of the pricing is 10,000 ghana cities to 30,000 30, Ghana cities of which I don't fall within. The second one, the second one is um 80 cities to 120 of which I am above that. So I'll be looking through. This is 200 to 1,000. Looking through to get the best offer for myself. Okay, so I'm having this one over here of which I can't actually mention the name. Which is going to buy it at a rate of 12.22 Ghana cities, and the limit is from 500 to 5000 Ghana cities. I think I have to limit myself to this particular ad. I'm going to simply tap on sell, which is located right in front of this ad. When I tap on it, I'm going to finalize everything in the next page. So this is the next page for me to sell my assets. If I want to sell all the assets, it will be 5,381, of which the limit is not up to that. So when I tap on all, you can see I'm, I'm being limited to only 5,000 over here, 4,099. So I'll go to Fiat and you can see 5,000 over here. And if this is your first time selling any assets over here, you prompted to add your mobile money number here in order to receive payment on. I've already added my MTM mobile money and my Vodafone Cash. So if it is via Vodafone Cash, I can receive it. If it is via MTN, I can receive it. So right now I'm using MTN. So what I have to do is to simply check for check for the advertiser stems in order to proceed with the payment. So you can see I'm only subscribers and I'm already a subscriber. I'll simply tap on sell USDT. And this is one of the most crucial places you need to When the person makes a payment, he will mark the payment as sent so that this payment received will be um, switched to, I think, yellow or um, brown. Is it yellow? Yeah, yellow. But before you release your assets to the buyer, what you have to do is to cross check your mobile money balance and see if there is any changes. If you want to test with, if you want to chat live with your buyer, you can simply tap on this chat icon and um, enter any message that you want to um, send to the buyer over here. So I wish to send the buyer um, um quick service for positive service for positive remarks. Then I send. If you have anything important to send to him or her, you can send it and you can actually add images and um something to them 
So whilst you are still waiting, I'm going to pause this video and wait for the buyer to make payments so that I proceed with this particular video. As you can see right on my screen, the buyer has marked the payment as sent. So you can see um, the payments received being switched to yellow. And you can see on my screen that I've actually received 5,000 Ghana cities right now. So what I have to do is to simply tap on payments received in order to release my assets to the person. And this is the last step. If you release your assets when you've not received any money from the buyer, your assets will be in the buyer's accounts and you cannot do anything to recover your um, assets. So what I have to do is to simply check this um, I have received and verified payments. If you've received the actual payments and if you've not received any payments but the buyer has marked the trade as paid, you can simply check this box in order to tell Binance that the buyer hasn't um, sent the money. But in my case, the buyer has sent the money. So I'll simply check the box for I have received and verified the payments. What you have to do is to tap on confirm release. And go through some simple verification to release my assets to the buyer. Right now, you can see I have successfully sold 409.16 USDT, which is equivalent to 5,000 Ghana cities. So, for those of you who are doubting the ways I use to make money online, keep on doubting. And those who believe in my method, keep on enjoying. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Brian, and I'm out.